You realize this game is non-canon, right? No, this game is canon. Everything about this game is canon. Yeah, there are some loose affiliations, and they took some uh, generous liberties with how some of the lore connects, but it's all canon. Yeah. Uh, and for the record, the people that own the lore said this is canon. So for all the people that are like, no, I'm pretty sure it's not canon. The people that made the lore say it's canon. So as much as I'd love for you to be right about it, you're wrong. Um, it That's just kind of how it works. Um, you may not like the canon stuff, <laughs> but it is canon. Yeah, that's like telling Disney that their Star Wars movies aren't real. Sorry. It's just kind of how it is. <laughs> like, whoops. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like how all of chat is like, but Co, they aren't real. How dare you use that example? Fair enough. All right, so basically, um, since we, this is one of the few things we already did in beta, uh, this guy does his absolute best to like fix up this area. And he does, he actually gets to the end of it. Um, and, he, and it does a lot better, but what was the last thing? He got everything working and then, I'm not a robot tech, so I'm doing the best I can. I haven't heard from anybody, not even Marge, but if anyone's out there, they'll need food. Just got access to the core settings. I'll fiddle with the fertilizer settings. Maybe if I set it to zero, they'll just start planting. Maybe after that is when the first of the public events starts. Ooh, but yeah. Needless to say, didn't work out well, unfortunately. Oh, I'm over encumbered again. Um, we need to get a base built up, like a like a basic base. Yeah, we need we need to. I think we're gonna go out and make a base here in a second. Oh my lord, I am super hungry and thirsty. Uh, let's do Blamco, Blamco, bunch of boiled water. Uh, baked bloatfly? Sure. Delicious. Uh, we're gonna have to make some food and stuff out there, too. Revised steak. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to make a lot of food out there. We don't have, like, anything. We're gonna have to start growing some food, too. Although, I don't think I can build farms yet. Do you have any idea how bobbleheads work in this game? Yeah, bobbleheads are uh, temporary buffs. Attacking me? Hey, get out of here! Yeah, bobbleheads are, are some kind of weird temporary buff mechanic. I don't, I don't know. It's strange. Still figuring it out myself. I haven't gotten a bobblehead yet in this game, or in this run. So, we'll uh, we'll talk about it a bit more when I get my first one. Iker sack. Oh. Charming. Alright, I think we pretty much explored this whole location. Let's make absolutely sure. Oh, that's a lot of coffee cups. Yoink. Need that ceramic, yo. Sweet, sweet ceramics. And Ko is again ignoring the quest log. Please never change. Oh, of course not. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, quest what? <laughs> Alright, fine. I'll listen to your journal entry. You win this time. Overseers. Let's call these personal journals. Not an official log, just something for me. The Agricultural Center, one of my first posts with vault -Tec. I was so excited because I used to come to this same farm when I was a kid. Oh, give me that hoe. I remember one year at the Autumn Festival, me running through the corn maze, going every which way, Mom and Dad yelling after me to slow down. Slow down! <laughs> Wasn't gonna happen. I guess I was always hitting my fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout. I had to make troop leader. 
couldn't just be a good student. One sec. Dirt, 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 dirt. Oh, wait, did that stop my log? Oh, I hope not. I'm running this solo? Uh, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I'll probably jump in here and there with mods and subs and stuff, but... Ah, there we go. Whoa. Okay. So that was good. Got a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's see. What is our next... We need to register as a volunteer. So let's go ahead and do that before we go. Oh, but we were going to get that base up. Um, let's actually do that first. Let me get a bunch of wood here. Okay, I think that's good. Should be at least enough to start with. How can you 100% an online game? Uh, the way that we're doing it, we're calling it the 100% exploration run. So our 100% criteria is every single location explored fully. Um, every single quest we can do will be done. And every public event we come across, we will attempt to complete at least once. Yep. Those, those are the three big kind of uh, check boxes on our run. Okay, let's uh, pick a spot. Again, right over here would be good. Any kind of a flat area. Not seeing a lot of good flat areas. Hmm. There we go. This is flat ish. Okay, so let's put down our kind of basic platform. Have any concrete? Oh damn! Uh, can I break some stuff down? There's store all junk, but I don't want to store all junk. I need to build some. Uh, man, what is going on with the grass and stuff? Whoa, that's new. Uh, let's do this real quick, and we need to go to crafting. All right, so we'll put this guy there. Oh, and I can't even build this other stuff yet. We need more aluminum. We need big time aluminum. Now, can I break down components here? I don't think I can. Okay, so I'm gonna need to... I'm gonna need to find a place where we can break things down. Um... I'm 139 weight right now. Where is all of my weight? Sort by weight. I'm going to drop a lot of this stuff off for now. Let's 
spiked board. Hmm. Oh, look at this stuff. We're going to break all this stuff down eventually, but... Man, it's really annoying that whenever you click stuff, it apparently, like, resorts your inventory. Like, what is going on with this? I don't know what's happening there. Mm. Oh, we got some recipes to learn. All right, we're at 69 of 180. That, that's significantly better. Okay. I think this is good enough for now. Let's go back in and keep doing some looting and stuff. So these, um, these drops, how do these things work? Do they just, like, randomly spawn all over the place? Oh, here we go. I should have scrapped everything here. Yeah, these, these three things have been here a long time to... Wait, Mr. Messenger, who are you? I should get back to corporate, but I haven't been recalled yet, so meander I shall. Sorry, I can only accept new messages to be delivered from the corporate office, which I imagine is closed at the moment. Boom! Yeah, these aren't these aren't full again, are they? No, okay. Never offer an Anchorage veteran a cold drink. Okay. <laughs> Bummer. Do I have any other? Oh, I do have Born Survivor. Falling before 20% health will automatically use a stim pack. Great. That's awesome. All right. Prop. Oh, hey, Danny. Wow. Hey, congrats, man. Long time, Danny. My lord. Good to see you, bud. It's stupid to do a 100% run without listening to all the logs. Oh, dude, we're listening to every single log. Yeah, that's the plan. We have been so far, and we're going to continue doing that. Ugh. Is this multiplayer? Yep. Hey, pal, lizard. Good to see you, bud. Okay, so now we need to do register as a volunteer. Is that here? Log in. Yes. Print newsletter. Requests. Whoa. Oh, this is all for this this area. Okay. I don't think this is where we need to be. Did we get a thing? We didn't. No, we need to be over here. There it is. Register here. Resport, report to responder Kesha McDermott for further instructions. Okay, we need to search for her. Kesha McDermott. Flatwood River. Monitoring water safety protocols in Flatwoods. Conducting ongoing hydrology experiments. Oh, hell yeah. Got a bunch of stuff from that. 
thirst things first. Nice. Weather machine, yeah, the date, man. All all the dates are pretty wild. What is that? And that. Huh. Okay. Oh, hey, Kesha. How you doing, girl? Hourglass with a $10 tip. Dude, thank you very much, and I really appreciate it. We also have Ella Frost with a $10 tip. My mom used to listen to radio dramas with us when we were little. I guess that's why I like the holotapes, too. They're, those were simpler, happier times from Ella Frost. Thank you, buddy. Jay Holen, Mezzanon, Montal, and Crazy Ivan with the cheers. Crazy Ivan with the 450 cheer. Thank you. Vandros and Serenity B with the 5 and 10 gift bombs. My dudes. Thank you. Thanks for all the support today. Hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. And uh, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Analyze water sample. Oh. Analyze the results from the water test kit checkpointed. Okay. Okay. This is my first interview with another survivor, Kesha McDermott. Found me. This is my first interview with another survivor, Kesha McDermott. She found me trying to break into a Nuka Cola machine and um, showed me a different way. So, Kesha, can you tell us a bit about how we can make sure our water is safe for drinking? Try to keep it to the basics for training purposes. Oh, it's not complicated, really. Find water and strain out any big particles and chunks. Then, boil it in a pot over an open fire for a minute or two, then let it cool. Should be fine. Like, <laughs> like making tea, right? <laughs> uh-huh. You joined the responders a while uh -huh. ago. Help develop a program to train volunteers. 
So, uh, were you a survivalist prior to all of this? <laughs> you could say that. I taught high school kids. I used to talk about this very thing to them. Practical application of the sciences. It's fascinating, but... You never realize how important some things will be down the road, do you? I guess not. So if we were students of yours, what would you tell us about the world now? How can we survive? Oh. Oh. I guess my server went down. Okay. <clears throat> It's actually the first time I've crashed. Well, I didn't really crash. I guess my server crashed? I'm not really sure how that works. Um. Automated warning to all responders. The Mr. Phone hands are out of control. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Okay. That's okay. So this actually answered some really good questions. So first of all, we'll go do this event again, which is great. Um, it actually it looks like it saved like right when I quit, which is kind of awesome. So, like the second we crashed, I had been saved up to that point. Great. Hey, I like your outfit there, man. Looking good, dude. All right, let's go kill these farmhands and stuff. Is my base still up? Oh yeah, my base is there. Great. Awesome. Am I still being that guy? Yes, I am being that guy. Unfortunately, everyone around me can hear me. There's no push to talk in the game and it's terrible. Like, this SD Anger Triple Four guy is probably like, Oh my god, why won't this dude shut up? And I'm like, I'm sorry, Mr. SD Anger guy. I can't not talk. It's terrible. It's true. Mott Urz, if you, and a, if you and a friend both have a base in the same location, will it allow you to play together? Yes, it absolutely will. The way that it works is whenever you load into a game, it tries to put your base down. And if your base can't go down because another base is there, then your base just gets picked up. And then you can put it back down wherever you want. Yep, yep, yep. Oh god, through the window. Ouch. Let's do this while we're here. Check volunteer status. You must complete one more experiment to become a full volunteer. Look for Delbert Winters at his home. Oh, that was the guy we found earlier. We actually have some recipes for him, too. Or from him. Water pump, vault tech, cardboard standees, recipes. Oh, forest healing salve. I don't or salve. I don't know where I got that. Chemistry workbench. Awesome. Ultra light build leather armor something. Badass. Okay, great. Oh, it's because I just got it from completing that quest. I see. Cool. Scrap items. Everything I have. Oh, that's not nearly as much as I was hoping. Take all this stuff. Roman hide. Alright, let's see about completing this quest again. Because I like these quest rewards, that's for damn sure. Oh, you know what? Let's listen to this. Tonight, we bring you the final chapter of 
I swear to God, if this restarts it. Not leaving. In the last episode, Pioneer Scout Red Fisher met a curious girl named Sally while hiding in the dark. But as it turned out, they weren't alone. There are other people here? Yeah, they probably just went to get more food. They'll be back soon enough. You can wait with me, and they'll give you food too. You just have to do what they want. What do you mean? When they want to play games with you. Games? What kind of games? I'm still learning the rules. We also did this in the, uh, the beta. That was ridiculous. Ah, I'm so glad we listened to all that. Damn you, aliens! You damn blockers, monster. Uh, that was pretty awesome, though. All right, what I'm doing right now is I have made the mistake uh, in banking a bunch of stuff that was uh, I should have broken down first. So what we're doing right now is we're looting basically everything out of my place here. And um, once we are super loaded up with all the things, like this, we're going to walk around this corner and we're going to break everything down into scrapped items. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There it is. Okay. So now all the actual components are in here. Boop. Beautiful. All right, now we're going to put all the stuff back that we aren't using. This is all stuff we're going to break down later. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll keep some grenades on us. Sure. Pop this away for now. Wood. Right arm. We can build stuff out of wood. Oh, responder's paramedic jumpsuit. Let's pop that on. Okay, uh, let's go kill this last supervisor farmhand, which is over there. And then we'll run inside, grab any loot on the way, turn it off to get the reward for completing this event, and then we'll come back and keep working on the quest in here. Perfect. 